Hello and welcome to Crystal Talks. It is Katie and Cynthia here, and this is the space to learn about crystals, how they align with your chakras, how you can use them in your life every day. Simple and easy ways, plus Hello, all the cool and, and interesting to Crystal Talks. It is Keep Katie and doing Cynthia this here. when we go live. This is the space it to turns learn out, about crystals. And my volume is so loud, and you guys can hear it double on Facebook. Anyway, sorry for that tech issue. How are you today, Cynthia? I'm doing great. How are you, Katie? I am good. We are talking about black tourmaline today, which is a super, super amazing crystal with lots of interesting facts about it. One of which is that if you heat it up, it actually gets an electrical charge. So one end will be negative and one end will be positive. And how cool is that? How amazing is that? That's almost magical, you could say. What do you think, Cynthia? Uh, absolutely. I, I find that absolutely fascinating, yes. So let us know if you know any interesting facts about black tourmaline. Another one is that, oh, here's my, here's my assistant today. Hold on a second, bud, okay? <laughs> I think he got scared there. Um, another interesting fact about black tourmaline is that it was first named can you say this again? Cynthia told me this name, how to pronounce it, and I forgot already. Just a minute. Squirrel. 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 S C H O R L. Squirrel. Yeah. So it was first named Squirrel because it was found in a small village in Saxon, Germany, and it was named after the village's original name. But it was found again in Sri Lanka, and it was named after a, a Sri Lankan word and called tourmaline. So for many years, the great uh, or the East Dutch company. East India Dutch Company. I'm just I'm saying that wrong. Anyway, a trading company took it from India, from Sri Lanka, from the from from Asia, and brought it to Europe because they didn't realize that they already had it in Europe, which is crazy cool and just so fascinating. So let's get into what black tourmaline can do for you, Cynthia. Do you want to tell us some of the benefits of black tourmaline? <laughs> Black tourmaline is a, well, it's one of the master crystals. It is the protector stone. It, it, is, it is amazingly powerful when it comes to protecting and, and grounding. It will deflect, um, you know, negative energies. Uh, it'll even, you know, protect you against negative entities and destructive forces of all kinds. Um, it, it can increase your physical vitality. It's... Um, you know, it, it wards off all kinds of, of bad uh, threats, and, and in doing so, it strengthens your, your immune system. Um, it also wards something that we're uh, more and more aware of these days, it, it, the e e e EMFs that are out there, um, are getting constantly bombarded with, and um, black tourmaline is really good against shielding you um, against that. I've got a grid in the house because I want to protect my, not only myself, but my pets as well. Yeah, and um, that, that comes from your cell phones and your computers and all of the things that we now have multiples of in our homes. Right. It's everywhere. It's truly everywhere. It's, like, it's impossible to escape it. Even if you don't have a cell phone, those big 5G towers. <laughs> so black oh, man, tourmaline. Just, That's yeah. what you need. Some black tourmaline. Right. On a physical level, it also um, can help soothe panic attacks. If you're prone to panic attacks, uh, it strengthens your sense of smell, which some people uh, need with the, you know, what we're going through right now. And it, it can help prevent motion sickness. Um, emotionally, it's, uh, it, it, it has a, 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 gives you a sense of power and self-confidence. So uh, it's useful for us in, in, in so, so many ways. And uh, I know Katie has a, a, a great number of uses she'll share with us for chakra balancing and um, how you can use it for that. So black tourmaline aligns with your earth star chakra and your root chakra. So it can be really, really great for grounding, for getting grounded and activating that root chakra and connecting into earth. So it aligns with the element of earth. So it's really, really powerful for that. But it's also like, Cynthia, you know, it said it's very protective. It is a crystal of protection. It provides you so much protection. So it can really help to shield you if you're an empath. It can really help shield you from that negative energy and taking things onto your chakra centers that 
you really don't want to take on. So it can be a really, really powerful hey, stone to have with you to carry on you, to have in a crystal grid for protection, hey, for grounding, and for all of the other reasons that Cynthia mentioned. What's really, really cool is that black tourmaline has been used for centuries in ancient civilizations as a stone of protection. Native Americans have given tourmaline gemstones as funeral gifts. The Chinese engrave and carved figures of tourmaline for centuries. And ancient ceremonies in India have been using it to bring insight. It's also used to protect against danger by tribes in Africa, the Native Americans and <laughs> Aboriginal groups of Australia. So this you know, black tourmaline has been used for so, so long. How can we even question it, right? Like this is your protective shield. So those of you empaths out there, get yourself a black tourmaline. It is a shield of protection for you to, to have when you are out in public. And hey Katie, which, which goddesses aligned, uh, thought, thought that that was the black tourmaline was their, was their stone? Yes, yes. Thank you for asking of the goddesses. They, they, they rocked it, so to speak. Yeah. Sorry. No, so like this, this is so cool learning about the goddesses of black tourmaline. There are three goddesses that align with black tourmaline. tourmaline. It is Manat, which I apologize if I'm pronouncing that wrong. It's an Arabian goddess of the waning moon, time, destiny, and death. The second one is the Tuscany witch goddess. Areda, Aradia, and then we have a Polynesian goddess of the night. Hey, mom. Time, Nui, Tipo. Hey, mom. Again, if I pronounce anything Hi, wrong, mom. I do apologize. Hey, Please mom. feel free to correct me. Hi, buddy. This is my assistant with me today. Everyone's back in school, so it's hey, just mom. me and the little hey, guy. Mom. But it's really, really cool because these goddesses, when you use the stone, they're there with you. They're creating that protection and that shield and they're holding that space for you, which is super, super cool to think of and to know when you're using these elements of earth. So how do you use black tourmaline? I love, I love to wear it. As I said, I, I love to wear it to keep um, myself uh, personal protection. Uh, I, I have a couple of um, pieces of jewelry that I wear on a regular basis. Um, I have a piece by my um, bed because my I find my um, you know my intuitive, my empathic abilities are the most open at night, and I like receiving the good messages without having to worry about negative energies. Um, and uh, and I know, as I said, I have the, the, a grid on the house so that that the pet and plants and, and other living creatures that are here in our home get some protection as well. And, and I know it's, it's, it's powerful in, in meditation. Maybe you can share a little bit about that part. Oh, it's so, so great for meditation because it helps you to keep grounded. If you wanna go like to the Akashic Records and get information from your past lives or information from your soul, the black tourmaline is really, really great for keeping you grounded on earth while you go into those other dimensions and those other places so that you don't come out of it feeling so spacey and even dizzy or, you know, off kilter because you spent time in these other dimensions. Black tourmaline helps you to stay grounded. And it's really great to use for meditation to create a protective shield. You know, like your mind is powerful and visualizing the protective shield through your meditation as you are holding that black tourmaline is gonna really help you to hold that protective shield wherever you go. You can also use it to meditate and imagine a crystal shield around you that not only protects you from what's coming in, but is transmuting any negative energy that you've already pulled on before you place the shield into place, which is really, really pretty cool. And um, I like to use black tourmaline for yoga as well. When I'm working on getting grounded, I'll place it on the front of my mat, or I'll even put it like if I have a little pocket in my shirt or my yoga pants, place it in the little pocket and do poses like mountain pose, tree pose, bridge pose that really help me to get grounded. So share with us below in the comments, how do you like to use black tourmaline? What do you like to use? Do you have experience with it? Have you never heard of it before? Like, what do you like to do with black tourmaline? 
Another really, really interesting fact about black tourmaline is, well, all tourmaline gems, is that ancient gem dealers struggled to determine the difference between different gemstones. And so there are pink and red tourmalines that were actually mistaken for rubies. And it's believed that the Russian crown jewels have more tourmalines than rubies in them, which is really cool. Cynthia, you want to tell us about the essential oils that align? Oh, absolutely. Um, and you know, not we can't we can't forget using them in our in our roller bottles because absolutely. you know you're going to get that powerful a benefit from the stone. Let's hook them up with some you know powerful essential oils and 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 shoot it through yeah. the roof. Um, the main one that um, when mm -hmm. I use my roller bottle, I mix it with an essential oil blend called On Guard. Um, which is a, a very, very powerful support for the immune system. If you don't have access to um, that particular blend, you can use um, uh, the tea tree or oregano are, are two that are also very, very good support for um, your immune system. And if you're looking at it for the um, spiritual protection that we talked about, then I recommend using it with frankincense. Uh, and uh, for, for grounding, you're going to want to go to one of your tree oils, uh, again, for that connection to the earth. Um, there's a blend called Balance, but frankincense, cedarwood, sandalwood, myrrh, um, any of those will, you know, will help uh, and, and, and add more of a boost to, to the tourmaline that you're using in, your, uh, in, your, in and around whatever your intention is. I love to use frankincense for grounding and protection, especially because as an empath, I take on so much and it gets in my mind space. And that frankincense combined with the black tourmaline really helps to clear the mind and to refresh into this calm and grounded space. So yeah, really, really great yeah. to use frankincense <laughs> with black tourmaline especially for me, because I'm always trying to get grounded because there's so much chaos that happens with the three boys in my house. Um, but what do you guys think of black tourmaline? What are your thoughts? Hey, we have got a PDF for you with all the details we talked about today and possibly a little bit more information on it. Um, if you want it, drop a comment below PDF and let us know. We will get that PDF to you right away. So. Thanks for being here with us today and lots of love. And come back next Tuesday to see us and see what our next um, powerful stone is to, to share with you. Absolutely. We'll see you next Tuesday at noon. Take care.